I can parallel park my Cadillac and stilettos with a baby on each hip, sipping my Starbucks and managing two companies all at the same time. I am an American woman. Need I say more? Pop the glam pain. Pop the glam pain. It's time for the Julie Tussie Show live guest, current events, scathing expose. The original suburban bombshell, the big blonde baby, giving you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. And now, here's Julie Tussie. She's a big blonde baby. You want to kiss her? She sure Thank you so much, everybody. Welcome to the Julie Tussie Show. We have a great program for you today. We're going to be talking about lose more weight by increasing your protein.
The Lexington Music Award nominated Julie Tussie Band is now available for your events. For excellence, professionalism, and a stellar show, message them today on facebook.com forward slash the Julie Tussie Band. The Julie Tussie Band, talent, entertainment, and professionalism. I'm Julie Tussie, smart enough to be a blonde. Health and beauty are synonymous, and when you find a place that can help you accomplish those two things in your life, you have really found a treasure. The skin care experts at Beautiful You Medical Spa are waiting to help enhance your natural beauty. You have got to go and enjoy their relaxing, full-service medical spa and friendly staff. Book your first facial today for only $45 when you tell them that Julie sent you. Beautiful You Medical Spa, because everyone deserves to look and feel more beautiful. There's nothing more powerful than love and acceptance. Find it in abundance here on The Julie Tussie Show. The skin care experts at Beautiful You Medical Spa are waiting to help enhance your natural beauty. Enjoy their relaxing, full-service medical spa and friendly staff. Book your first facial today for only $45 when you tell them Julie sent you. Beautiful You Med Spa, because everyone deserves to look and feel more beautiful. An official sponsor of the Julie Tessie Show. I can parallel park my Cadillac and stilettos with a baby on each hip, sipping my Starbucks and managing two companies all at the same time. I am an American woman. Need I say more? Pop the glam pain. Connect with us on social media at Facebook.com, The Julie Tussie Show, home of the original Suburban Bombshell. Connect with us on social media at Facebook.com, The Julie Tussie Show, home of the original Suburban Bombshell. Today we're talking about lose more weight by increasing your protein. I am here to share my struggles, sister. (laughs) You talk about a struggle you may or may not know, but I have had a real struggle most of my life with my weight. A lot of it, I believe, is genetic. Some of it is Doritos. Yes, confessions are true on the Julie Tussie Show. But I wanted to talk about something that I have stumbled across that is actually changing my game. It's changing my game, and I'm very excited about it. So we're going to talk about increasing your protein. So as you may or may not know, I uh, have entered into the golden era of menopause symptoms. (laughs) I feel like that needs like a movie kind of a echo on it. Menopause symptoms. I am not through menopause and inside I think I'm 23. I feel like my body looks like I'm 30 and 33 somewhere in there. And so I do not feel like having this problem is fair or right or or even something I want to have to deal with, but I am dealing with it. About four years ago, I began to exercise. I began to really focus on losing weight. I was already a little bit bigger than I wanted to be, but it was manageable. I looked good. Things were going good. I felt healthy. Um, You know, everything seemed to be fine. I was managing, okay? I was managing. I was looking in clothes the way I wanted to look, things were going fine. <clears throat> then along comes the four-year struggle that I've been on with menopause. All of a sudden, out of the blue, I gained 20 pounds. Just 20 pounds. It's just like I woke up one morning and I have fat on my stomach. I've never had fat on my stomach. Hips, thighs, fanny, yes. My stomach, no. <laughs> That has not been a problem area for me. All of a sudden, I am turning into this different woman, and I do not like it. So I've been doing Weight Watchers on and off for four years. I started working out a little bit here and there. A year ago, I got a membership at the gym. And congratulations to me. I'm so proud of myself because I've never done this before in my life. I have been working out at the gym for a year 
in April. And so I was so proud of myself. But you know what? I actually gained about three pounds from going to the gym. I don't know if it's because I'm doing weight training. Muscle weighs more than fat. and But really, it doesn't weigh more than fat. It actually that you retain more water in your muscles. But there's a proven theory that if you have more muscle on your body, you will burn at rest. Just sitting on your sofa, you will burn more calories than someone who does not have as much muscle as you. So I do a little bit of a treadmill every time I go, and I go three to five times a week. And I do a little bit of weight training. Not a whole lot. No, not a whole lot, but I enjoy it. I feel more fit. I feel stronger. I definitely feel happier because I'm working out. But I am thoroughly ticked. I'm like a little pissed off that I have not lost anyway in a year and so I've done the Weight Watchers thing and I'll lose a little bit for a couple weeks and then I plateau and I decided I'm done I am done with this so I called my girlfriend Heather uh, Robertson from halfsizeme.com you guys know I absolutely love Heather and I um I said, help. (laughs) So she's a coach. And so she decided she would coach me for a little bit. And she took my she took my daily uh, caloric on my fitness pal. I highly recommend that if you're going to watch how much protein you ingest, that you go on my fitness pal and get an account. It's a great, great app, a wonderful community, a lot of support and it, a lot of good feedback. And it's free. You can upgrade to have it, you know, a big macro thing. But I don't do that. I just do the free. And I've done it on and off for four years. I um, so I, I made Heather my friends on there, and she can and I let her see my diary. So for a week, she saw what I was eating, and we talked. And she said, "Julie, what I would like to suggest is that you go on your maintenance calories. You know, you can you can find a formula online that what your calories are that you need to maintain the weight you have. And honey, I am a fantastic maintainer." <laughs> I gain a little and I maintain it for a long time. Then I gain a little bit more and I maintain it for a long time. So I found out I tried about 1,700 calories. I typically eat 12 to 1,400 calories a day, but I've been doing this forever. And that that's kind of low, right? That's kind of low and I hadn't been losing. So she's like, let's see if we can shake things up. So I went on maintenance for two weeks and oh my gosh, I couldn't believe how hard it was to eat that many calories. I found myself in the kitchen eating uh, two tablespoons of peanut butter and a half a banana before bed. And I don't even eat before bed, but because my protein was so low. Um, I wanted to get that up and I needed to get those calories up. And then the other thing she said was, I love to give you those 1,700 calories, but I want to take something away. Could you go one week without sugar? And she said, you don't have to read labels and all of that, but just stay away from the cookies, donuts, junk, the sweets and treats because she knows I'm a chocoholic and I always eat the dark chocolates, lower in sugar, blah, blah, blah. So... (laughs) So I gave it a week and the first four or five days I caught I texted her and I said, oh my gosh, are you trying to kill me? Are you trying to kill me? I couldn't believe how addicted I was to sugar. Oh, sugar, the evils of sugar and <laughs> another whole podcast we need to do. But anyway, since I did that now, because this is a month ago, since I did that, I've actually been basically off sugar. If I want to have, I think I've had one lemonade in the restaurant in in a month. And that that's always, I never have that anyway. I always drink water, but once in a great while. So I've had a lemonade and I've had a couple of peppermint patties. That's it. Doing great. So for two weeks, I go back on and I'm eating anywhere from 1,200 to 1,400 calories a day, but I am increasing my protein from, I guess I average 70 to 80 grams a day. From I'm trying to get 100 to 150 grams of protein a day. And let me tell you, it has been a challenge. It has been a challenge for me to get protein into my diet. So I've been researching ways and finding ways to get protein into my diet. And lo and behold, I've been doing it. I've been succeeding at it. And in two weeks, I have lost four pounds after being stuck. I mean, absolutely stuck. So when we come back, we're going to talk about how to get more protein in your diet because you will lose more weight that way. 
I'm Julie Tussie, smart enough to be a blonde. Health and beauty are synonymous, and when you find a place that can help you accomplish those two things in your life, you have really found a treasure. The skin care experts at Beautiful You Medical Spa are waiting to help enhance your natural beauty. You have got to go and enjoy their relaxing, full-service medical spa and friendly staff. Book your first facial today for only $45 when you tell them that Julie sent you. Beautiful You Medical Spa, because everyone deserves to look and feel more beautiful. There's nothing more powerful than love and acceptance. Find it in abundance here on The Julie Tessie Show. The skin care experts at Beautiful You Medical Spa are waiting to help enhance your natural beauty. Enjoy their relaxing, full-service medical spa and friendly staff. Book your first facial today for only $45 when you tell them Julie sent you. Beautiful You Med Spa, because everyone deserves to look and feel more beautiful. An official sponsor of The Julie Tessie Show. I can parallel park my Cadillac and stilettos with a baby on each hip, sipping my Starbucks and managing two companies all at the same time. I am an American woman. Need I say more? Pop the glam pain. Connect with us on social media at Facebook.com, The Julie Tussie Show, home of the original Suburban Bombshell. Connect with us on social media at Facebook.com, The Julie Tussie Show, home of the original Suburban Bombshell. So our topic today is lose more weight by increasing your protein. Well, unlike other normal people (laughs) who can lose weight without doing all of these crazy things, um, I just have had to really work at it as we've talked about. But I am finding that increasing my protein is helping. It's proven that if you can eat more protein in your diet, you will stay full longer. So... Here's a few ways that I have increased the protein in my diet, and I want to share them with you. The first thing, oh goodness, the first thing that I did was I incorporated Greek yogurt into my diet. Now, I've had a love-hate relationship with yogurt on and off through my life. I loved it when I was a kid, then I've had to use it to diet, and I liked it okay, and then I go through phases that I hate it. I have hated, I have to confess to you, I have hated non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Matter of fact, when I first started doing this because I knew Heather was going to ask me how I've done for the week and she would see how much protein I had. One t- one day, I literally took a whole container of Chobani non-fat Greek yogurt. It's 80 calories, but it has 20 grams of fat, I, 20 grams of protein in it. I ate it just plain. It was so horrible. It was horrible. So I don't recommend that you do that. I have found ways to make it taste great. So one of my things that I do with Chobani not fat, non-fat Greek yogurt is I add it to, and this is a, my number two item, something called Premier Protein. It is a little bottle of protein a cardboard box, this bottle kind of thing. And you can get a case of those. I think there's 16 or 18 in the case at Costco for $24.99. Now, before you get freaked out about the price, honey, it is costing you to buy those Doritos. It is costing you to buy those honey buns. And it's really costing you to go through that fast food restaurant drive through So it's really just about prioritizing. So yeah, $24.99, that gives me 16 days of shakes. I drink this every single morning for breakfast. So my Premier Protein uh, shake comes in banana, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, has 20 grams of protein and 160 calories in it. I take my protein, pour it in a bullet, I can throw fruit in it or not. I do try to put raw baby spinach in it because it's healthy. And then I put the non-fat Greek yogurt in it. And the shake is so sweet, I don't have to add anything else. And I zip it up and I have it every morning for breakfast uh, if we're not going out. On the weekends, Gary and I go out for breakfast. And I have planned for all of that. But this is my every morning. Every morning, this is what I have for breakfast. If I'm tired of it, then I will go on to another subject, which is my number three point is choosing eggs over cereal. But 
So with this, I am getting 50 grams of protein in this little shake. And it's 160 calories for one part and 80 for the other. That is really low. That is really low. A bagel has like 450 calories in it and a bunch of crap that's not good for you. All that white, crappy, gluten-y flour. <laughs> and you hate it with cream cheese on top. I know. <laughs> so so that's a great, great thing. You could actually have it for an afternoon snack. You could have it before bed. You can add this in anytime you want. I'm just choosing right now to really do what I feel like my body needs and and give it nutrition that's a little on the healthier side. So this is what I'm doing. Now, if I'm tired of that, I do um, I do egg beaters. Now, my third point was choose eggs over cereal. We A lot of us grew up on cereal. We think it's healthy because the industry has promoted it as thus, but most of it is not healthy if you really, really do some research on it. And it's, I'm just ashamed of myself that I've eaten cereal for so long. I was actually quite addicted to it for a long time. Like I would just eat Rice Krispies and lose weight. But you know what? I'm not 20 anymore. I need to take care of my body. I'm going through this menopausal change in my life my hormones are like all over the all over the face of the earth <laughs> so I'm trying to get healthier in a healthy healthy way to increase your protein and feed your muscles and feed your body is eggs I uh, did want to bring up the the point that the number one killer of women in America is heart disease and heart attacks and women get heart attacks and they don't recognize the symptoms. They're not they're not highly classified like a man. Uh, a man will know if he gets a shooting pain up his left arm, he's having a heart attack um, if he gets pain in his jaw. But for women, it can be just as similar as indigestion or uh chest you don't get like out and out chest pains pain in your jaw pain in your neck just really unusual for women and hard to recognize so ladies if you're listening to me today and there's anything that feels unusual to you please do not mess around go to the emergency and make sure you're not having a heart attack so when it comes to eggs High cholesterol has been an issue that I've had. My father had 16 heart attacks. He had cholesterol out, oh my gosh, the highest cholesterol I've ever heard of. And so because of the family history of that, the most eggs I will ever eat in a week is four to six. And I basically will only eat two in a restaurant uh, once a week with Gary. Other than that, I do egg beaters. And I love Mexican, so I do a Southwest egg beater. They're, egg beaters are fantastic because for you can actually eat one whole cup. And I am telling you, man, that is a big plate of eggs. <laughs> So I usually do a third or a half of a cup. But if I'm really trying to up my protein, I will eat an entire cup of egg beaters. And it will give you, for one cup of egg beaters, 24 grams of protein. Egg beaters are made from real eggs, but they have less calories and they have zero cholesterol in them. So if you're concerned about that when you're making this change to eggs, you do egg beaters. I, I like to have a box of plain uh, just egg white egg beaters in my refrigerator for recipes and then I eat the Southwestern. Another uh, pointer that I want to give you about these eggs is once a week, do a little bit of meal planning, a little bit of planning your food. So what I do many times, I will saute onions, green peppers, red peppers. I will slice radishes and little sliced baby carrots and then I will put um, some some spinach leaves in there after it's all done. So I'll saute those vegetables, just a spray of Pam, a little bit of water, saute them down till they're tender. And believe it or not, uh, sauteed radishes are the friggin' bomb, girls. The bomb. <laughs> they're so good. You can even cook them up just by themselves and serve them as a side dish. They're fantastic. But I put a little garlic powder in there, a little red pepper flakes, and then I put the uh, the spinach leaves, a good handful, because they're really good in eggs. And you can add mushrooms in this mix, too. But I put that spinach on top, put a cover on it, let it steam a few minutes just so it's wilted. And I put this in a bowl. 
and I keep it in the refrigerator to make with my eggs. So I pour the egg beaters in the bottom of a pan. If you're doing about a half cup, I use a small pan. I call these my one egg omelets because you can actually whip up one egg with a little bit of fat-free half and half and put it in the pan to make an omelet. It makes the perfect little omelet. So I put my egg beaters in the pan. I um I add the veg. I add the cheese first. I use a fat-free uh, American cheese by Kraft. It took me a long time to get used to the taste of that. I don't think it's a clean food uh, per se, but if you're not enjoying your food, you're not going to stick to your plan for healthiness. So you have to have a little bit of enjoyment in there. So I do that, cook the egg, fold it in half. I have an omelet. Fantastic. You can actually scramble the eggs, throw the vegetables in if you want, put the piece of cheese on top when it's done. It'll melt before you eat it. And of course, my number one tip is top it with sriracha. (laughs) If it's hot and spicy, I like it. We'll be right back. I'm Julie Tussie, smart enough to be a blonde. Health and beauty are synonymous, and when you find a place that can help you accomplish those two things in your life, you have really found a treasure. The skin care experts at Beautiful You Medical Spa are waiting to help enhance your natural beauty. You have got to go and enjoy their relaxing, full-service medical spa and friendly staff. Book your first facial today for only $45 when you tell them that Julie sent you. Beautiful You Medical Spa, because everyone deserves to look and feel more beautiful. There's nothing more powerful than love and acceptance. Find it in abundance here on The Julie Tussie Show. The skin care experts at Beautiful You Medical Spa are waiting to help enhance your natural beauty. Enjoy their relaxing, full-service medical spa and friendly staff. Book your first facial today for only $45 when you tell them Julie sent you. Beautiful You Med Spa, because everyone deserves to look and feel more beautiful. An official sponsor of the Julie Tessie Show. I can parallel park my Cadillac and stilettos with a baby on each hip, sipping my Starbucks and managing two companies all at the same time. I am an American woman. Need I say more? Pop the glam pain. Connect with us on social media at Facebook.com, The Julie Tessie Show home of the original Suburban Bombshell. Connect with us on social media at Facebook.com, The Julie Tussie Show, home of the original Suburban Bombshell. So I'm here on the Julie Tussie show today sharing with you how to lose more weight by increasing your protein. Being a protein free girl, (laughs) almost a protein free girl, and having to work on getting this protein in my diet, I have come across some strategies and some ways to increase my protein that are quite delicious. So we've already talked about We've already talked about adding um, non-fat Greek yogurt. I like to go for the lower calorie. Chobani is my choice. Adding a protein shake, Premier Protein, all ready to go in the box. Get them at Costco for $24.99. And no, I don't get a kickback, but I should call them. Uh, They have many, many different flavors. Number The third thing we talked about was choosing eggs over cereal and how to make a great omelet. Um, You can also take egg whites, let's see, I think it was a half a cup. You can find it on facebook.com forward slash the Julie Tussie show. And you can find, I posted the recipe for these protein pancakes. And you talk about two, two big, I mean, nine inch pancakes, but it's, you take pumpkin, you take uh, cinnamon. I put a little nutmeg in it and egg whites, basically in you, in a little bit of baking powder, you whip it all up, pour it in the pan, Kind of tastes a little bit eggy, but if you put a, a carton of applesauce on top of it and a little Truvia or a little sugar-free syrup, it's great. And it's a lot of protein, so you'll have to check that out. I think it was one cup of egg whites, and yes, it was, and one half cup of pure pumpkin. So give that a look on the on the Facebook page. The fourth thing I've done is I've added a protein bar. So I have found two protein bars that I absolutely love. Two of them. The first one, my first number one recommendation, is called Primal Thin Protein Bar, and the flavor is sweet cream. This has kind of got the texture of 
almost a toffee, but not quite. Kind of like the inside of these 400 calorie bars that are soft and chewy, but covered with chocolate. Well, this doesn't have chocolate on it, but you do not miss it. It's called Primal Thin. I got it online. You can get it at Amazon, but I went directly to, um, I went to Julian's Bakery, I believe it was called. And It has 20 grams of protein in it, one gram of sugar, one net carb, and 130 calories. And it only has four ingredients in it. Uh, It it is amazing. It is very, very healthy. The ingredients are... Yes, I have one in my hand and I'm about to eat it. (laughs) Organic grass-fed whey protein, organic digestive resistant prebiotic tapioca fiber. So it's like tapioca in a bar. Um, Organic sunflower butter and um, monk fruit. So those four ingredients. I am loving this thing. Every afternoon I have one as an afternoon snack and I have it with a cup of coffee. Now another bar that I really, really did do enjoy, but the calories are a little high so I only eat a half of one. But oh my gosh, girls, if you like birthday cake and if you like birthday cake flavored ice cream and all of that kind of stuff, they have a bar called Birthday Cake and it is the bomb. And it is um, it is called Oh Yeah One. And you can, I did get mine on Amazon. 20 grams of protein has about 220 calories. So if you eat half, you're getting 10 grams of protein and you're going to get 110 calories. But they also have brownie. That was very, very good. They have a salted caramel. You can actually order a box that has like 12 different flavors. And that's what I did. And I tried them all. Some I loved, some I did not like. But every single day for two weeks, I have had a protein bar. Primal Thin is my favorite and oh uh oh yeah one is my second favorite all right so add a protein bar Uh, number five choose low fat cheese instead of junk food okay (laughs) this is really good this is a really good point because you know you can get the little low fat mozzarella sticks Um, me i have to have everything hot and spicy and you may think this is insane but you've got to try it a pepper jack a low fat pepper jack stick also they sell them they're already pre-measured throw that thing in your purse and if you're like me sometimes i deal with low blood sugar grab yourself a pepper jack stick and start eating okay it don't matter if they get warm cheese does not mold or mildew that fast or does cheese mildew <laughs> cracking myself up over that but warm cheese is good it's just softer I mean what do you do when you put it on pizza and put it in the oven right you warm it so it's fine to carry in your purse it's a great snack but I love a hot pepper jack stick with a John of Gold apple it's kind of sweet kind of tart kind of sour really really good I was really really into Honeycrisp apples and they are raising the price so much most of the time. If they're on sale, I'll get them. But four to eight dollars a pound, no way, man. Give me a dollar forty nine a pound John of Gold apple and I am good to go. So add those little cheese sticks instead of reaching for the junk. The why am I gonna name them? They're not worthy to be named on the Julie Tussie show. <laughs> they make us fat. <laughs> Number six Here's a great point. Add beans. I've been adding black beans to a few of the things that I eat. And then I, um, I've i added them to soup. You can add them into uh, burgers. You can actually make a black bean burger. My daughter, Stephanie has a recipe that I think she got from my daughter-in-law, Whitney, who got it from her sister. So this is like a family thing, people. This is a family thing, but a black bean burger. And I'm going to get the recipe and put it on the Julie Tussie fan page on Facebook so that you can you can get that recipe. But she swears by these things. They also say you can add um, quinoa to them, too. I haven't tried that. But I actually get the veggie burgers uh from Boca and I like those I like the American flamed and then there's a chicken one I need to look at the protein I'm sure they have some in there I'll check and see if they're higher though but that's the kind of things that I like to eat I am not a big meat eater and we all know chicken has lots of protein yay so I'll eat chicken I like seafood but I don't eat beef hardly ever I don't eat pork hardly ever I eat a little turkey so 
a black bean burger is really cool. I have seen them already made at Costco, and I haven't read them, but that would be worth giving it a look while you're over there getting your premier protein. So add beans to soups. Now, I was in Costco. Yes, I love Costco. They need to become one of my sponsors. <laughs> and they have this thing. It's uh, it's in a carton, and it's called cowboy caviar, and it is black-eyed peas, black beans, corn, uh, peppers and onions, red peppers, diced up, and they they make a, it's in like a, an Italian dressing, but not really Italian dressing. It's kind of like that light kind of a oil and vinegar thing, and it's got a touch of sweet. Fantastic on low-fat, Snyder's low-fat tortilla chips. Fantastic just to put in a bowl and eat, okay? So there's another way to get your beans up. Number seven, add hummus to your diet. Oh man, my favorite hummus, there's two of them, but my most favorite one is called hot and spicy or some kind of spicy. Anything spicy that's going to be Mexican flavored, I love that. And and then there's another one that is garlic. There's one that's Greek. Oh, there's so many different ones. But I have to tell you, when you get it, it looks beautiful with that big dot of spices in the middle, but you have to stir it. My my kids were in the kitchen eating uh, around my spicy center, and I told them, I said, you have to stir this. You have to stir it up because all you're getting is plain hummus on the outside, and they put all the flavor in the middle. So please don't get a big scoop of the middle unstirred. You may not... <laughs> You may need to eat something to put fire out in your mouth if it's really spicy. So definitely stir it up. But it's really good on baby carrots or cauliflower or broccoli. It's good to to put inside of a wrap. There's all kinds of low carb, uh, high fiber. I don't know if you're watching your carbs. I don't too much. Um, But there's all kinds of really good wraps. Now me, I have to be gluten free for my uh, chest because I started dealing with uh, asthma symptoms when I went into menopause. I always had allergies, but let me tell you, they came off the chain. And so I don't eat gluten, but I do use corn tortillas a lot and I will use them as a pizza uh, bottom, you know, pizza crust. I make little teeny pizzas and I'll share that with you sometime. But I make pizzas out of them. But you can take your tortillas or your corn tortillas, whatever you're eating, and you can put hummus on them like a spread instead of mayonnaise. And you can put some salad items in it, maybe a little turkey, a little a lean ham, anything like that. Put a little Italian dressing on it, roll it up. Yum. And look how healthy you're eating and how you're taking care of your body. One of my tips for having hummus in the house and um, being able to increase your vegetables is once a week, take take 20 minutes and get yourself a bunch of vegetables, sugar snap peas that are raw, green beans that are raw, uh, of course, cauliflower and broccoli are very, very healthy for you, baby carrots, uh, grape tomatoes. And I've done this for many years and I will get a Rubbermaid container that is kind of uh, rectangular, but not too, too big. But you can actually set things on it in the refrigerator once you have it in if you need to. But I will put all these vegetables, I will clean them all, radishes, all that, clean them, put them in this container, put the lid on. And every time we eat dinner, uh, uh, lunch, snacks, I pull it out and we add raw vegetables to our diet that way. I used to do that all the time. I've got to get back to it. That's a That's a great idea. We'll be back right after this message. I'm Julie Tussie, smart enough to be a blonde. Health and beauty are synonymous, and when you find a place that can help you accomplish those two things in your life, you have really found a treasure. The skin care experts at Beautiful You Medical Spa are waiting to help enhance your natural beauty. You have got to go and enjoy their relaxing, full-service medical spa and friendly staff. Book your first facial today for only $45 when you tell them that Julie sent you. Beautiful You Medical Spa, because everyone deserves to look and feel more beautiful. There's nothing more powerful than love and acceptance. Find it in abundance here on The Julie Tessie Show. The skincare experts at Beautiful You Medical Spa are waiting to help enhance your natural beauty. Enjoy their relaxing, full-service medical spa and friendly staff. Book your first facial today for only $45 when you tell them Julie sent you. Beautiful You Med Spa, because everyone deserves to look and feel more beautiful. 
an official sponsor of The Julie Tessie Show. I can parallel park my Cadillac and stilettos with a baby on each hip, sipping my Starbucks and managing two companies all at the same time. I am an American woman. Need I say more? Pop the glam pain. Connect with us on social media at Facebook.com, The Julie Tussie Show, home of the original Suburban Bombshell. Connect with us on social media at Facebook.com, The Julie Tussie Show, home of the original Suburban Bombshell. Okay, two more things to add to your diet to uh, increase weight loss. By increasing your protein, you will increase your weight loss. Uh, The eighth thing, (laughs) and this is really good. Please share this with your girlfriends. This is really good and healthy for women um, of all ages and all sizes trying to be healthy. Number eight, add cottage cheese to your diet. I love Michigan brand. Find the brand that you like. Get a low-fat version of it and add it to your diet. A half a cup of Michigan brand. Come from Michigan, and that's my favorite one. So, (laughs) ta-da! Half a cup of Michigan brand cottage cheese is 120 calories, but 14 grams of protein. You know, you can make a whole lunch out of one cup. That's 28 grams of protein. What I like to do with it is I like to take a cup of, of cottage cheese, top it with blueberries and honey, just a drizzle of honey. Oh my gosh, that is so good. I mean, I put a whole cup, however much cottage cheese, that's how much, how much blueberries I put on it because it's so good for you to eat berries. Strawberry, you could put strawberries on it. You can put peaches on it. You can put pineapple on it. I, I'm going to have to leave now. I have to go eat a snack. I'm starving. <laughs> Another great thing that I do with it that I don't think I've ever shared before with anybody, but I do this and it's so, so good, is I'll take a cup of cottage cheese, low-fat cottage cheese, and I will pour like a lower calorie spaghetti sauce. My favorite is ragu garden combination. And I will pour a half a cup of that sauce over top of it or a marinara sauce over top. I'll add a little garlic powder or I'll make sure my spaghetti season, my spaghetti uh, sauce is already cooked. Sometimes I'll take that ragu, cook it with peppers and onions and mushrooms and then I season it up. I'm Italian. My mom is Italian and my grandfather came from Italy and we like Italian food and so I will spice it up. Even some red pepper flakes. I like a good hot marinara sauce or a spicy spaghetti sauce. Um, But I will pour that over my cottage cheese. The cottage cheese is cold. I'll pour it over top. Sometimes put some Parmesan on it and I will eat that pasta free, high protein, cheesy, delicious spaghetti dish. And it's really, really good. The last thing that I've done is I've added protein powders. Uh, the I've tried everything from Shakeology to expensive, sorry, uh, Shakeology to uh, just stuff you buy in the in the grocery store. And the best one that I have found, two point that I like, it is called Unjury. It comes in an unflavored. Uh, version that you can stir into your coffee every morning. You can stir it into many, many things, and supposedly you can't taste it. I tried it years ago. I don't remember it having a flavor, so but I haven't tried it recently. My favorite one is called Planted Chocolate. It's a vegan chocolate, gluten-free, low in sugar, just fantastic. And then they make one that is chicken soup. You, you remember the Lipton chicken soup packets? You shake them up and you make like cream of chicken. Well, it tastes like cream of chicken, but you're getting 20 grams of protein in a hot cup of water. So it's a great afternoon snack. I I love it. Um, Each uh, serving has 130 calories and 20 grams of protein. Now, the reason that I want this chocolate powder or a vanilla powder or a salted caramel protein powder in my life is because you can bake with them. You can actually make brownies and cakes. You can stir it into your oatmeal. You can be so creative. So definitely check that out. Check check out some protein powders and get them into your life. Well, there you go. We're going to increase our protein and we're going to be healthier. We're going to lose more weight. Uh, you know, if you're going to apply the time to losing weight, why not add in the things like add protein, cut out sugars, so that you're more successful and you lose more weight for your effort, right? Lose more weight for your effort. 
thank you so much for taking the time to listen to the Julie Tussie show. We are expanding. Things are going on that we'll be sharing with you. We have some great guests in the lineup. So please tell your friends about the podcast. Tell them to go to iTunes. Tell them to go to Stitcher. Tell them to go to the feed. Tell them to go to, oh, there's one other one. I'm Oh, Libsyn. <laughs> L-I-B-S-Y-N.com. They're our main host for the Julie Tussie show. And please share share with your friends so that we can be more effective in reaching people to help them have a better life. Thank you to our sponsors. Beautiful you. We love you. You rock. You're amazing. You're awesome. We're adding more sponsors right now. So if you have a great product or a business and you'd like to partner with us, please email me at julietussie at gmail.com. We would love, love, love to connect with you. This is Julie Tussie telling you, you only get one life. Live it to the fullest. I'm Julie Tussie, teaching you how to pull yourself up by your thigh-high bootstraps. The skincare experts at Beautiful You Medical Spa are waiting to help enhance your natural beauty. Enjoy their relaxing, full-service medical spa and friendly staff. Book your first facial today for only $45 when you tell them Julie sent you. Beautiful You Med Spa, because everyone deserves to look and feel more beautiful. An official sponsor of the Julie Tussie Show. I can parallel park my Cadillac and stilettos with a baby on each hip, sipping my Starbucks and managing two companies all at the same time. I am an American woman. Need I say more? Pop the glam pain. If life is my oyster, darling, pass the hot sauce. The Lexington Music Award nominated Julie Tussie Band is now available for your events. For excellence, professionalism, and a stellar show, message them today on facebook.com forward slash the Julie Tussie Band. The Julie Tussie Band, talent, entertainment, and professionalism by Tussie Music and Entertainment.